My thought was it was a great win. All conference wins are great wins. Uh, hats off to uh, Coach Marshall and uh, Wichita State kids. I thought they uh, um, came in ready to play. You know, having a week off um, really helps a program like Wichita State because of uh, uh, their coach. You know, I, I was a little bit worried about this game because of uh, – you know, when the game started, I thought we were okay, but just I, I could tell that we looked tired. And I was concerned about that. You know, uh, everybody looks at our, our schedule, and they see this game and this game, and they don't realize what these kids go through. You know, we had a three and a half, we had a tremendously emotional game against uh, Temple the other night in Philadelphia. That's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, it's about a three hour and 15 minute flight from here. I think we got in. Uh, I'm sure these guys got to bed about 3 o'clock. Um, human beings. You know, uh, next day um, we had practice. The next day is day before. Now we're playing. Um, you know, tomorrow, you know, obviously tomorrow's a day off, but tomorrow's a day off is really important for these kids right now. They, they need a break. They need to step back. You know, we've just kind of been grinding and grinding and grinding. And, um, by the way, Coach Marshall uh, had a great plan. His kids really played hard. Um, but you know, these two kids here are winners. I'd much rather have a kid that hates to lose than a kid that wants to win. Everybody wants to win, okay? Well, usually kids that want to win want to win. Um, yeah, the, the, they like how winning sounds. But I'd much rather have kids that hate to lose. You know, Galen hates to lose. Uh, Corey hates to lose. That's why uh, it's hard for me to take him off the floor in a game like tonight. I tried to, but um, you know, we I had to put him back in. Couldn't get him some rest, but but we'll learn. Um, conference season is a different animal. I was telling somebody a while ago that Kansas State lost at home to Texas by 20. Um, Iowa State beat Kansas at home by 17. Kansas State went and beat Iowa State on the road today. It's a great road win for Kansas State. Tough home loss for Iowa State. So you say, well, uh, how does that happen? It's conference. There are no uh, Mississippi wins at Mississippi State. That's why winning at home is hard. Winning on the road is harder. Um, it's tough to win games. It's hard to win games. It's hard to make the NCAA tournament. There's no guarantees. If somebody had asked me tonight before the game, would you take a one-point win? Are you kidding me? I took a one-point uh, win and um, figured what I was going to watch on TV tonight in my recliner. Um, so I, nothing else matters. Just find a way to win the game and get to practice and see if you can't get better. But I was uh, – uh, we fouled a shooter five times tonight. That's got to be a record. You shouldn't foul a shooter five times in five years. You should not foul shooters five times in five years. You shouldn't foul a shooter. We fouled them five times tonight. So um, may need to work on that a little bit. But I didn't think we played very efficient tonight. We've got to get a lot more efficient, play a little more cerebral. Um, but that one's over. We'll move on to the next one. Coach, how do you think uh, Fabian did to get him more comfortable to you? Yeah, yeah. This is early November for him. It's January to um, what is the day? I don't even know what the date of the date is. What's the date of the day? January 12th. Um, you know, Fabian was out from June 23rd to November 30th. So he's, he's still climbing that hill. Um, got fatigued a few times. Tonight had to bring him out, but you know every game he gets a little bit better. Um, but I decided to uh, start him because I thought that would give the um, first unit a lift. Because you can play through, you can play through Fabian, whereas you probably can't, you can't play through Sed. And you know, Sed's strengths are in other areas. So um, I like what uh, uh, Fabian did tonight. I think uh, he's going to be really, really uh, sore and tired tomorrow, but uh, um, he'll come in and. Get treatment, get in one of the uh, uh, cold tubs or hot tubs and get some recovery and be ready to go on Monday. Joseph, 
Kelvin, you've mentioned um, in the past about Corey and Armani getting them going at the same time, same game. It's usually been one or the other. That second half, uh, when they really took off, I think they were 7 or 12 on threes. I guess that shows kind of what they're capable of or what they can do for you when, when they're both going at the same time. Yeah, but the whole key is Galen. You know, I mean, it's like um, that's why I do the scheduling. You know, if I'm gonna, you know, if I'm gonna be doing the cooking, you know, let me buy the groceries. You know, same thing with these guys. I mean, these guys are eating, but Galen's the one feeding them. You know, um, but our pace. You know, those shots that you see, those guys, we we do a drill in practice, uh, three on three, where we get three shots in transition, and it's those same exact shots. You know, Galen's usually the one kicking it ahead, or penetrating and 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 throwing it back. But these guys know each other. It's, that's why it's, it's sometimes it's difficult for me to take Galen out uh, because of that. And whereas Armani, you never know when Armani's going to make five and, out of six or, or four out of five. You just don't know. Like in the first uh, half, he was in the witness protection program. I don't even remember him. Was he out there? I mean, what was he the first half? I don't even remember Armani in the first half. What? Anybody know what his stats were in the first half? Yeah, yeah, he might, as, he might as well have been sent beside me. But look what he did the second half. That's why you just hang in there with him. you got to know your players. You know, you, you got to know your kids. And um, uh, that's why I believe, in, I believe in Armani. I might fuss at him and get on him, but uh, I believe in him. Um, that's why I stick with him. And, and then Corey, you know, sometimes I have to call timeout, remind Corey what color jersey we're wearing. What were we not white? So Corey, we're wearing white, son. Try not to throw it to the ones in the black. Um, but they all need a little reminding here and there. This question's for Galen. Uh, tonight you had a career high in assists with 11, including second in the seven in the second half. What, as far as pace of play, how did it just change from the first half of the second half? Um, well, I lost at Temple. Coach didn't like um, how I was pushing the ball. He thought. Stops. Um, Stops. Yeah, um, he thought every time I pushed it, something good happened. And uh, when I didn't, we were, you know, playing the way they wanted us to play. So um, I made a concerted effort to push the pace and um, just try to fly down the court and uh, try to find uh, whoever was open. And, um, you know, when people finally make shots, you get assists. So it was nice. <laughs> uh, Galen, just to follow up on that, I don't know if you knew this, but you, after tonight, you're now – 11 assists away from being number four all time in UH history. How does that feel? No, that's tight. How many I got? I'm just, I'm just 11 away from being fourth. I'm top five. It's all good. Huh? 489. Sheesh. Yeah, that's a lot of dimes. Yeah, that's a lot of dimes. Galen, describe your thoughts when you threw that inbound pass off of whoever that was back. Um, the crazy thing is, I could have done that a lot more times this year, but I'm just so I just didn't want to turn it over. But he was just it was just too there for me not to. So I just took and I knew that he wasn't gonna expect it, and um, it was gonna come right to me. I was gonna get a run to start, and I'm pretty fast. So once I got that head of steam, I saw Monty streaking, kicked it to him, and boom. Davis, uh, Corey, were you concerned at all about how the team would react after that loss on uh, on what was that Wednesday? Um, not necessarily, because we got a we got a good group of kids, and they they hate losing just like we do. And I know we were gonna come ready, prepared to play this game, so it wasn't really that much worry about us coming in and losing, just us playing to our identity, because we have a great culture set. And if we came out and do that, I know we would have been fine. Coach, one, one more, once again, what are your thoughts on the crowd? Are you getting that sense of the crowd is coming to see Houston now instead of wh whoever the opponent is? Yeah, I mean, it's been, um, it's been great in play in front of this. You know, um, having won 19 in a row uh, last year uh, and carried over this year, you know, we've been winning. You know, we didn't start winning because we moved into this building. We've been winning. But uh, what we've created with this building is um, uh, a huge connection. 
between our fans and our uh, team. You know, it's, uh, you can tell it's growing. You know, and our students uh, are creating a, a great atmosphere. Uh, we're getting a lot of people that's, uh, um, it's, it's so much easier to come to a game now because you got a beautiful arena. Uh, and, and I think our, our, uh, our fans, uh, season ticket holders, I think they're proud of, of this arena. And the fact that we've got a, a really good team you know, if you didn't have a good team, nobody would be coming. You know, nobody would be coming if you weren't winning. I mean, we've seen that before. But the fact that we're winning, people's taking pride. Um, and this, um, I, I don't take this for granted. You know, we're in here every day when nobody's in here but us. It was empty. Um, you hear the echoes in here. You smell the popcorn, but you can't see the people. But it's... Um, you know, we're, we're blessed. We, you know, we're very thankful that uh, we have a beautiful uh, facility to play in and that um, uh, we're thankful that people uh, come to see us and hopefully they'll keep coming. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.